Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we will be discussing about the Wipro layoffs that has been happening. So Wipro has recently announced the layoff and we will be looking into these particular details behind the Wipro company, behind the scenes, what's happening and what is the reason that has triggered this layoffs, right? So we would be discussing these things in detail and also we would tell you whether these layoffs are affecting you or not, right? So let's look into these details. But before that, if you're watching this video for the very first time, then please do hit like, share and subscribe our channel. So now this is a Wipro company. It's one of the biggest IT company in India. And it's a cap. This is a Capco company. So Capco was acquired by Wipro in 2021 and it was a billion dollar deal. So when I say billion dollars so nearly 1.45 billion dollars were paid by Wipro to acquire Capco. Now, Capco is a technical consulting firm. The, the technical things that are being done by the Capco employees is a huge amount of work and they are they were being paid somewhere around, you know, $300 to $400 per hour. Now, when this acquisition happened, so Wipro was expecting a lot of business to come from Capco company. But as soon as this acquisition happened, and now if you can see the project work or you can see the overall there has been a kind of a slowness in the global market itself, right? So Wipro is continuing still to pay those kind of employees at a very high, high rate, but the kind of work, the amount of work that they are not getting from the market itself. Now, if you see the scenario here, so, so here the company is paying, right? But from the market, they are not getting that much of I would say the amount of business that they should get. So, but it is continuously paying them. So this, this thing is happening continuously at Wipro. They are paying the employees the higher amount that they had actually discussed or they might would have some decisions or they might would have signed some agreement when this acquisition happened. But that amount of work is not coming from the Wipro side, sorry, from the Capco's company side, right? So which is why what is happening now is the cost cutting has started. So now Wipro has started its layoffs. Now, if you will see the next question, who is impacted by this layoffs? Is it going to impact freshers? Is it going to impact the experienced people? So again, the term that Wipro has used is of a middle management, right? Now, what is middle management? What does middle management mean? It means that the people who are between the senior management and the junior managers. So if you will see, there is a hierarchy going on in the IT companies. They have senior managers, they are top level senior managers. They have middle managers and they have junior managers. So in order to streamline their decision making, in order to ensure that their decision making is fast enough for the industry, they are sacking off the middle management. So it will not impact the freshers who have recently onboarded or who have got the joining letters it is neither going to get impact the experienced people as well but the managers itself will be getting impacted now why managers are targeted because the income the salary rates of managers is much more than that of the normal employees right so that's why middle management has been targeted at wipro now few of the people are also telling that this is a shift left strategy now what does shift left strategy means so shift left strategy means let's consider there are three people working for one task at Wipro, right? So this is number one who is doing some X amount of work in eight hours. Then you have got number second employee who is doing some Y amount of work. And then there is a third employee who is doing Z amount of work, right? So what would happen is a shift left strategy means they will they will target the third employee, they will sack him off and the work of three employees would be done by these two employees itself, right? So this is also what has been heard from the outside, right? So the amount of work which is done by the three employees would be done by the two employees. So this is again a kind of a cost cutting that the company has to do when they when they sign some kind of uh, acquisitions or deals or bonds 
and they don't get that much amount of business so this is also that is the rumors or that is a uh, you know the proper news that are coming but this reason that i have just explained it to you is a very core reason of why these layoffs are happening right so basically the business that they were supposed to get from the capco company that they are not getting so this is a basic reason why the wipro has announced its layoffs now one more thing i would like to add here is the people who are freshers they must not get disappointed they must not come into the negativity mode that it industry is full of getting into the layoffs mode if you will uh, recall the news that we had shared on last to last sunday that is two weeks prior on sunday itself that was related to google again google had announced the same thing that they were laying off the middle management people the third kind of news that we are going to getting to hear so much at this particular time is about the amazon layoffs so why these amazon and google are laying off because they were expecting the business to come from the hardware departments now when you say hardware department so what does it mean so they have some devices so let's say in amazon you have alexa similarly various devices are there so if they don't get much of profit margin from those kind of devices from those kind of hardware related projects then those people are getting laid off one more reason why wipro is laying off is based on the profit margin so as is it is uh, the company is not getting that much amount of profit margin hence the company is laying off now if you will see the profit margin that recently the other companies who are competitors of wipro that has made so tcs has got nearly about 18 to 90 percent of net profit margin right that is called as npm while wipro is at the lowest of its uh the business that it has been doing and it has got the net profit margin only of 12 percent 11 to 12 percent which is why these things are impacting so generally there are many reasons behind the layoffs are done it is not that just the one reason that the projects are not there but sometimes the company has made some decisions in the past which they are not able to get the profits from them or they are not able to get that kind of business from them second time is the one more reason is the company also does the layoffs in order to make the cost cutting third reason is the employees themselves are not performing well to the expectations of the management and that's why the layoffs are happening so there are multiple reasons that can be going on behind the scenes of why layoffs are happening right so this was an entire video on wipro layoffs itself and we tried to make it very simple from a layman perspective that you are able to understand and you don't get shocked or you don't get disappointed or demotivated after reading just the thumbnail or going through the title of this video but it is very important that you watch this video till the end itself right so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates